If you have used Netlify or Versal before, you have probably heard of preview deployments. They are so convenient. Preview deployments allow you to super quickly test a new pull request without messing with anyone else's version of the app. And that makes everyone a lot more productive. But the thing is, preview deployments fall short as soon as databases are involved. And we would like to fix that. What I'm going to show you now is a very early concept demonstrating what we have in mind to make sure that databases are smoothly integrated into all of your preview deployment workflows. We would love to hear what you think about it, so let us know your feedback. To illustrate our idea, let's come back to our team that's building the e-commerce application for a large retail brand. As I've heard, some changes are needed in the application. We have heard from the marketing department that a more detailed description of the product categories is needed. To achieve that, we need to update our database schema and change the type of the category field from a text field to a full-blown category model with a relationship to the product model. This is a breaking change as the category field on the product model now represents a relation rather than a simple string. We're changing the category field from string to a relation with its own model in the Prisma schema. After adjusting the Prisma schema file, we use Prisma Migrate to generate and execute the migration in order to apply the change. And finally, we push the change to a feature branch on GitHub and now get access to Versal's nice preview deployment that includes the change we just made. Let's check it out. Uh-oh, what's that? A 500 error that says database not found? Why is that? Well, what Versal is doing here is mapping my feature branch to its own isolated deployment. Usually this is great, but in this case, the problem is that my preview deployment doesn't come equipped with a database. And that's why the server crashed with the error 500 code before. So how can we solve this and make sure a database is available for my preview deployment? Well, we cannot use our production database, of course. So we rather need to manually set up a preview database and hook it up to our preview environment. But now the problem is that we don't have full isolation. All preview deployments will be using the same database. And as a consequence, there's a risk that database schema changes on one PR are incompatible with the ones made on another PR. For example, this is what the author of another feature branch would see if they open their own preview deployment since the new category model I added to my schema doesn't exist in theirs. In an ideal world, each preview deployment would automatically get its own preview database that matches the schema of the respective branch. This is exactly what we have in mind for Prisma. Meet preview databases. With preview databases, the experience would look more like this. First, a friendly Prisma bot joins your pull request and provisions a preview database for you. It then applies your schema changes by running a migration and even seeds data into that new database so that your preview deployment looks realistic immediately. With this approach, every branch can be fully isolated from one another. Having this workflow would be absolutely amazing already, but we think we could still do better. Did you notice that step where data gets seeded into the preview database? Seeding generally is great, but always getting the same data might not always be as helpful to ensure your app is really working as it should. So what if you could configure what the seeding step does? Let's dig a bit deeper into this idea. Uh, testing applications with realistic data is hard because of several factors. You want to seed data that mimics the data that you have in production but you can't show any personal information, secrets, or sensitive data to stay compliant with government regulations. And finally, seeding should be fast and use a reasonable data sample size. 
To illustrate this better, imagine that your application has this account page using data directly copied from production. Well, this isn't good, since we can see real data from a real user. This breaches a whole bunch of regulations in most countries nowadays. What Prisma can do is to lean on its schema file by enriching it to qualify data as being sensitive, like personal information, or secret, like passwords, we can customize the seeding step to decide on a logic to apply there, such as faking emails or generating random data for passwords, for example. This way, your preview can now safely be used without putting you or your company at risk. And to bring this further, the Prisma data platform could give you options to customize the preview database's size or region. This would allow you to get realistic data faster without triggering massive workloads. We are incredibly excited about the idea of preview databases, and we would love to hear what you think about it too. To summarize, preview databases would give you a fully isolated preview environment with its own database that already comes equipped with realistic data while giving you various strategies to randomize data from your production environment to stay compliant with government regulations. This way, your entire feature development workflow becomes completely integrated, very little overhead, and a huge jump forward in terms of developer experience. At Prisma, we want to make developers more productive so that they can spend time building valuable features and we think preview databases will greatly contribute to that.